of July. So um, I'm just headed out to go to the store. I hope this thing isn't shaking too much. But anyway, I'm headed out to go to the store to get some stuff because we don't want barbecue. We kind of barbecued out because um, their party last weekend, we had barbecue and nobody's trying to grill today. So I said, I'm gonna do some seafood. I'm gonna do that shrimp at a faith. I have a video on that. And then I'm also going to do like just a boil cause Jalen likes, she likes the corn and like the shrimp and the sausage and stuff together. So I'm gonna um, do that for her. Well, really for all of us, but anyway, but first, before I go there, I want to go to some stores and stuff and kind of just see what type of 4th of July deals they got going on. So I said I was going to take y'all with me, kind of like a shot with me, so we can, you know, just see what's going on here. All the specials and stuff. I'm not really looking for anything in particular, but now that Jalen's room is done and finalized, I can, like, move on to some other projects in the house that I've been wanting to, like, work on but like i didn't want to bring them especially like to you guys especially knowing that i had like this other project that i've been working on for months that i hadn't even completed so i didn't want to like start a whole another project and i you know that one was still like unfinished or whatever so um this is pretty much i'm just kind of looking for stuff i guess like for the kitchen area because the kitchen and the loft like those are my two areas that i want to like um finish or whatever i don't have to do like a whole lot you know to the loft or whatever i just kind of want to um like finalize that wall that's on the other side over there that's still bare i think i want to do like a collage wall but i want to find like some cute like silver photo frames or whatever and then of course the pictures have to be in black and white so I'm looking for some of that type of stuff for up in there and a bookcase because I did decide to put a bookcase in there for like some of the books I like to read and then like some faux books or whatever that I don't read but just to kind of fill up the little case or whatever. Although um, one book that I do want to order, I do want to get um, Megan Good and her husband's book, The Weight. Uh, for whatever reason, I guess out here dating it, so I just feel like I want to read it or whatever. And I like reading good books. Like I don't like to get stuff on Audible or like to listen to people like read to me and stuff like that. Like I like paperback. I like hardback or paperback books where I can just kind of sit down and in a quiet space, particularly my loft area is where I like to do it um, because I have that white shade over there and just read, y'all. So. Um, I want to order that book or whatever and see what other good books they have too that I might want to order and just add to my book collection because now that event season Event season for me is winding down I can you know just start back having like a normal routine a regular life like doing regular stuff instead of just coming home and Working and stuff like that. I can just focus you know on other stuff and have some me time some quality time some downtime and not just work 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 so anyway i'm going out to look at some stuff for that um i'll tell you guys in more detail what i plan on doing to the kitchen because that is going to be a whole little project nothing major like i'm not demolition demolition demolishing okay i'm not doing a demo or knocking anything down but i am doing like some cosmetic upgrades and stuff to it yeah i'll show you all that that's gonna be a fun process every step of the way i'm gonna take y'all with me so for today 4th of july we're just about to go hit some stores and stuff that's pretty much it and go to the grocery store but anyway what did you guys do for the fourth tell me down below let me know because the fourth is like it's in the middle of the week which is kind of weird usually it's like on the weekend or something so you know if it's on the weekend or whatever you kind of have more time to like just do like entertaining stuff and not go back to work you know necessarily the next day but it just seems so odd being on a wednesday like i just really didn't want to do like anything major as far as like a whole lot of entertaining or anything so what did y'all do did y'all feel the same way since it was like on a wednesday or whatever or did you guys actually still do like what you usually do for the four let me know let me know and i forgot to say that the reason why y'all see all this trash bags and Jalen's like old dollhouse and stuff is because as i was finishing her room i um took a lot of stuff and put it up because i'm gonna take it to the goodwill and get rid of it so that's why y'all see all this stuff back there all that came out of Jalen's room 
and it's gas to go. Cause y'all probably wonder like, what the heck she got trash bags and all that stuff in her car? Yeah, it's about to just, it's stuff that I'm taking to give away, so. Oh, look at all the cute stuff they had for 4th of July to decorate with. And um, I didn't get any of it because I didn't feel like trying to find somewhere to store this stuff. That's the one thing with decorating for the holidays. You always have to find somewhere to put it after the holiday is over. But it's some cute stuff. So um, I'm going to take, I'm going to do my hair, like my natural hair and a twist out or whatever for a few weeks I think so um, I need some more Shea Moisture because Jalen has used it all up she's always in my ish so um, oh, here it is right here <clears throat> I need some milk so this one right here is my favorite I love the curling style milk it works really good with my hair and um Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. These are my two like staples. So um, I'm gonna get one of these and I have some leave-in. I do use this leave-in treatment right here. So I have some of that at the house. Um, and I also like to use the curls. It's not this one, I have the gel. It's not the blue, blue, blueberry bliss. <laughs> uh, look like they're out of it, but anyway, that's a good one too. Oh no, here it is. This is the one I use too. So I mix my Shea Moisture with the Goddess Curls and it kind of gives it a really good hold. All right, so let's see what they have. The loft is navy blue and white. It's a cute table. This is a gorgeous ottoman for 60 bucks. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I like this too. I might mix metals in there because right now I have silver. It's a lot of silver. That's cute. I was trying to see what maybe Project 62 had, but I don't see anything. Nothing is catching my eye. Well, Target is a bust for decor. They don't have anything that I really like in here, so I just thought I'd check it out since I came in here to get stuff for my hair. But they ain't got nothing. Nope. All right, let's go in Burlington, y'all, and see what they have. Is really cute. Set of three candles is really cute. Twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, and nine ninety nine for a set of three. Oh, they have a blinked out A. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? This goes really good with Jalen's bedroom. Pretty. So this is a lot of beach decor. So if I'm doing her bathroom in the beach theme, 
what can I get to like add with the stuff that I already have? Like this is really cute. Maybe on the back of the toilet. Sorry, I like these things. I already have seasoning. So, um, Kanaka is always my sausage of choice. I don't know if I want the first one. I want to get a thick one. Yeah, so Kanaka. I'm gonna get this hot one right here. Uh, maybe this one. Got the sausage. Now we need corn. I'm just gonna get um, two of these corn tots. And the very important thing, potatoes. These are so small, so I always just get these and I cut them up into little pieces. Um, I just had him to basically give me some of the cooked shrimp out of the fresh seafood department because they seem to be cheaper and look like you got more, so. So I need to hurry up so we can make that too. Don't take it personal, baby. Personal, baby. Why you bother me? Why you bother me? Why you bother me? All right, y'all. So I didn't go to all the stores that I thought I was gonna go to because um, I ran out of time. I need to get home and make this mix because we're going to go where we're supposed to go to the fireworks show and I saw like when I was down there um by the mall that people had already started putting out their little um fireworks stuff so not fireworks stuff but like their tents and all those chairs and stuff so uh yeah I decided to come on and try to head back to the house all right so I have um the shrimp here cut all the sausage up that's the regular sausage and then i made the spicy sausage thicker so that you could tell the difference and i cut up the potatoes and here's the corn so it doesn't take any of this any time to get done so i'm gonna go ahead on and put the shrimp the um sausage in there first and then i'm gonna add the potatoes because those kind of take a minute to soften and then towards the end i'll add the corn and then i'll add um the shrimp and my seasonings and I'll show you guys in a second. So this stuff right here will last you for years because it is so strong and spicy that when you cook you only need like a, my, I don't even know if you need a teaspoon, just like a little little bit. So I usually just pour some in the cap and pour it in there and that's enough because any more than that, your mouth is gonna burn like crazy. All right y'all, so here's the boil. I've got my shrimp, sausage, potatoes, and corn and it is boiling. And it looks so good and it smells so good. All right y'all, it's done. All right, so we are headed to the fireworks show. Late, so hopefully we can get a space where we can actually see the fireworks and not get there while the fireworks have already started. Thanks to... So anyway, yeah, it's dark. Well, it's not dark yet, so as long as it's not dark yet, we should be good. It's just a matter of finding somewhere to park. Oh, oh. It's a car wash
about me, baby? Be a millionaire, be a millionaire, just being ghetto. <laughs> Oh, Shotta told me I gotta take my scarf off and get a weed. <laughs> Alright. She was like, oh. Alright, y'all, we out here at the fireworks <laughs> show, waiting on them to um, start the fireworks or whatever. Just hanging out outside at the car playing music. It's so packed out here. We barely found a parking space. So I guess they're waiting until they get like pitch, pitch black before they like, before they like really, really start. I want something big. I need a. Dang, you can't. Woo! Woo!